Sorry about the echo. And welcome to Globe Tripper. My name is Peter. And this is all about retiring in Thailand and uh, all the different things I go through. I'm talking about going through, you wouldn't believe where I am right now. I know there's a bit of an echo. Because I am, well, see if you can guess by the time I get to the end. Um, no idea where I am. I just got found this place on one of my morning walks. And, uh, yeah, very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> We're almost at the end. Uh, we'll be out of here in a second. And we'll get on with the video. Here we go. What do you see? Mm. Does that look like teeth? Yes. Look at that. <laughs> now I was inside the belly of a serpent. Isn't that amazing? Gosh, the things you find. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what else we got here. Okay, so there we go. I'm in some sort of a, a temple of some sort. Um, just randomly found this on my walk. Really nice. And then here, it looks like we've got a tiger to go in. Let's go and have a look at that. Now, by the way, the subject for today is about uh, hobbies. Um, hobbies and pastimes. Now that you're retired, what do you do? It doesn't say shoes off, so I better take them off anyway before I go up into here. Let's go have a look into the mouth of the tiger. There we go. Look at the beautiful paintings on the walls here. Very, very talented. Look at that. So yeah, one of my pastimes while I'm in Thailand is going for walks and discovering places like this. If I can go out the other end of here. There we go. Have a look back. Out the... I guess we've just come out the rear end of the tiger, haven't we? <laughs> and that's going to take us back up into the snake. Although there was a viewing spot up there we might go up there and we can talk and go up here so um yeah hobbies and going for walks some of you i don't know what you guys do you have to let me know in the comments do you um there we go all right one amazing sight after another um do you have hobbies? Have you started hobbies since you retired? You've got to do something, eh? Because, you know, you start off working. Look at that view. It's beautiful out there, eh? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. I'll put a, a link in the description of this place here in Chiang Mai in case anyone's here and wants to come and have a look. I haven't looked at it all yet, but yeah. Very good. Okay, let me get the camera around again. All right, so, so what do you do? Do you go for motorcycle rides? That's what I'm gonna be doing in the next few months, I hope. Um, oh, and for those who are asking the comments of previous videos, I ended up going back to the hospital um, yesterday and the day before. But the day before was to get my blood result test done or get my blood test done, then come back two hours later and get my blood test result, which came up with a PSA, which is a little bit high. That's to do with your prostate. Um, so my doctor suggested I see a urologist. I thought, oh, okay, when am I gonna do that? He said, tomorrow. I said, oh, okay. So next day I went to the urologist. He looked at the result and all the previous results from back in Australia that I bought with me. 
And he said, uh, yeah, just um, we're going to wait until you're off the um, blood thinners that I'm on um, from my embolism that I had. And, um, and then we'll do it. But other than that, there's no rush for it. There's no history of the family of prostate cancer or anything like that. So I'm pretty happy with that result. Um, and the reason I'm telling you all of this is because that's the reason why I'm not buying a motorbike um, just yet. I was hoping to get uh, some news of being able to come off these blood thinners a bit earlier than having to be on them for six months. But yeah, the doctors, both of them, have said to stay on them. So that'll be another four months, just under four months to go on those. Um, and reason... I relate that to the motorcycle is because if I was to have an accident, even if it was just to, oh look there's a squirrel coming, he's running up the dragon, can you see that? Yeah, if I stay really still he might come over my way, see him there? Sorry, you probably have squirrels everywhere wherever you are but I don't see them, we don't have them in Australia, so yeah, no, you see me, he's turned around. Anyway, so <laughs> distraction, distractions. Um, I haven't seen any monkeys, by the way, yet. <laughs> I'm sure there's monkeys in Thailand, but I haven't seen any yet. So the motorcycle um, has to wait um, because if I were to have an accident, come off or internal bleeding or or something worse, um, because my blood doesn't isn't going to congeal or clot as it should as easily it makes things a lot more serious. Even though the doctor said, oh, but we're at the hospital here, we've got anti-congealants and ways of treating you if you're on thin. As I said, yeah, but that doesn't help me when I'm on the road bleeding out on the side by my, by my motorcycle. So I don't want to take the risk. So yeah, no motorcycle for me. Although having said that, I do jump on motorcycle taxis uh, a bit too often. So yeah, anyway. Um, so that's that. So I do have another hobby. Okay, so before I came to Thailand, um, oh gosh, three years before I came to Thailand, I started up a hobby building models. So I build plastic models. Um, Tamiya, Hasegawa, um, uh, Trumpeter. I uh, started off building model ships. And and not long after I started building the first couple of ships that I built um, because I started um, videoing it videoing the process of building these models um, the reason I got into the models in the first place was because I used to be into computers modifying and built my own computer I had all the flashy lights and the latest graphics card and you know I used to do all benchmarking and stuff and gaming and all that and one of the people who I follow on YouTube just randomly built a model of the Bismarck and it came up really really nice and he showed it on his channel and I thought oh yeah, that'd be interesting so next minute I'm building a ship um, I think the first one was a British ship um, the Cornwell it was called the Cornwell and I think after that I might have done um, the, the hood or something like that I don't remember so I started building model ships and videoing them. And that's when I started up another YouTube channel, uh, my first YouTube channel, which was which is called Oz Scale Modeling. Okay, and yes, obviously I'll put the link down in the description below if you're interested, um, or maybe you are looking for an interest and want to get into building models. So I've been running that since I started building models. Now I've. I don't have any memory of model building when I was a kid at all, so I think that during the bad beginning of COVID, I, that's what started me off on it, uh, and I got into it, and so did a lot of people. So to get back to the Thailand side of things, um, my channel, my YouTube channel, Oscar Modeling, climbed up to we're at nearly five and a half thousand viewers now. I do live streaming once a week. I do uh, model builds once a week and uh, I'm, I've expanded out now from doing ships to to um, uh, cars to trucks to all sorts of things you know? although I haven't built an airplane yet so it's something I've still got to think about 
so um, so that's what I do so other than creating videos like this for this channel um, just my experiences going through the retirement process and and life living here in Chiang Mai in Thailand um, I also build models um, and and I've continued that over here as well so before I left there was a lot of stuff I couldn't bring with me all the models that I had built in, some of them quite extensive, including the 1200 scale Yamato, um, was a, a huge build. Um, that ship is nearly two meters long. Um, I, I gave everything away. So, all my modeling, all my kits, all my unbuilt kits, all my tools, most of my tools and everything, all the paints, everything, gave it all away. And all I brought over with me was uh, a Tamiya. Um, Formula One car which I've finished recently building and it's up on video of the builders up that's the Martini Brabham from 1975 and I've also built um, a Honda Monkey which is about to go out on video I've recently finished that uh, that little 112 scale Honda Monkey they're quite a, a good little popular bike here for hotting up and doing up so I thought I'll give that a go um, that came out right and currently right now I'm using it I'm building a, a um, M3 Lee World War II tank made by a company called Miniart. Miniart is known for its detail and huge number of parts and I think this one comes with about 1100 or more parts to it so there you go that's what I do uh, you see what I mean um, you've got to have it you got to have a hobby. You got to. What are you going to do every day? I mean, you know, hobbies like what I'm doing, model building, is great for indoors. You know, you can do that when it's too hot outside, when it's too, in this time of the year, smoky and polluted. Although today we have an exceptionally nice day because last night it was quite a storm came through with wind and rain, and that cleared out all the smoke. So we got a really nice day today. There is. Uh, forecast of showers uh, this afternoon which is good we need that too but it's still up around 35 36 degrees and it's going to get to about 42 maximum um, Celsius today um, so without further ado <laughs> I'll take you around and I'll show you where I do my modeling and I'll show you my setup and uh, how I do it all okay cheers I'll see you all soon bye for now Okay, so here we are, back at the condo. Um, I will be honest, I've just had a quick swim in the pool to cool off. Quite refreshing, I needed that. Um, so, let's have a look at my hobby of um, model building and what I do. Okay, so we'll just uh, turn the camera around once again. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. Um, here's my little work area. Um, currently working on the uh, little Mini Arc 133 scale M3 Lee tank, which is coming together slowly. Got some guns there, got a few fire extinguishers, and little pieces I'm doing for the detail for the interior. But this is where I work on my little bench here. Got my instructions over here, my magnifying glasses, which are must have. So working through that and as we go across it's all connected up to my laptop there and we go up here we can have a look at the screen where I do all my recording of the work I'm doing as I build um, over here we've got our camera which is a Z, Nikon Z30 um, does the job really really good quality camera gets a nice video out of that and we've got a microphone here and a bit of light and that's that's it pretty much and then it extends over onto the table here where we've got all the plastic that's how it all comes in parts some of the tools and equipment masking tape paint pens um, uh, yeah all sorts of stuff brushes and things like that glues clamps 
all the bits and pieces that you need. Um, and by the way, if you go to Winner Hobbies here in Chiang Mai, um, they have everything you need, including a great um, supply of um, kits you can choose if you want to build anything. Again, I'll put their link in the description to their Facebook page. And um, they also have a shop in Bangkok as well, as a uh, you can order online and have stuff delivered. So there you go. That's what I do. That's it. That's also where I do my editing for these videos that I make for the um, Globe Tripper channel. But otherwise, that's for my Oscar modeling channel. And as for the painting, um, I do all my airbrushing. But first, we'll just have a quick look here in front of the TV. These are the latest two models I've built. So there's the uh, McLaren, uh, the Martini, Brabham Martini for Formula One car that I built. You'll see the detail in that, in the engine there. That's come up really nice. And again, I videotape the um, unboxing and then the complete build. I do the review and then the build. And there's my little Honda Monkey, which is my most recent model I just finished. Come up very nice. Uh, you'll be able to see that on the channel. And then going out over here, past the view, towards the balcony. Excuse the swimmers and towel drying as I've just got to the pool. And just out here I've got a little chair on my balcony here. Where I sit down out here and uh, airbrush. So an Iwata is the brand of airbrush I use. Okay, I've got my paints. Mr. Hobby and Tamiya Thinners. Um, my paint selection for the current model. Everything I need is in there. All the, all the different colours. Um, and including um, surfacer and so forth. But I go through all of this in my videos during the build. Um, and of course we've got the air compressor which I bought while I was over here from Winner Hobbies here. There it is there. Um, that was only about 4,000 baht um, to run my uh, airbrush. Uh, yeah, a must have if you want to do some serious model building. All right, so yeah, that's my setup. Nice little spot just in the corner here with my nice view <laughs> on this really actually very nice day for a change. All right, I shall be back in a sec. Okay, so there you go. So what hobbies do you have? Do you play golf? I mean, I'm not a sports person, but there's golf. Um, I seen them playing a game just yesterday when I went for a walk with their it's it's like they're hitting a ball along the ground um, with a mallet. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but yeah, it was strange. Um, yeah, and then they had to knock it between these two little what looked like beer bottles on the ground. There's quite a few of them out there playing that. Anyway, yeah. So what do you do? Let me know in the comments. What, what do you do for your spare time? Um, you know, you, it's it's good to have something. I mean, otherwise you're going to get bored pretty quick, especially when you you're no longer going to work every day and doing your daily job. You've got to have something to fill in the time. You know, I know people here that that do a lot of cooking. Cooking's a thing up here. Um, gardening, if you've got a, if you're in a house, you could do a gardening. Um, whatever it is. So um, yeah, let me know. Anyway. I'll finish up the video here. It was good to go out and have a look at that temple. Um, like I said, the the um, uh, the location will be in a Google Map link in the description, uh, along with that hobby shop and uh, anything else of use. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Eh? Okay, bye for now. Cheers.